compass points north, taking you far away from civilization as we know it. It is here that we find what is pure and untouched, a remoteness that kindles the imagination of the hunter as there is no end to the adventures that we can have. These steep, rugged mountains are the perfect place to let your soul fly to the top of what feels like the entire world. This is like your dream western hunt come true right here. Seen anything wild as you. Him and those deer came in 30 yards from me. It's so awesome when it comes together. There he is. You're punching me in the face. Sweet summer rain. To be in this moment right now is like it's pretty unreal. Absolutely perfect. But we got it done. It's, oh my gosh. Yes, thank you, God. <laughs> The stories told of the McKinsey Mountains are captivating. There is a legacy that lives within them, as every time they're told, they pass along the torch of desire from one hunter on to another, creating a fire within that cannot be ignored. The stories, they take you north. And then you find yourself in the land of the midnight sun.
of these two we're looking at, they're nice rams. How old do you think they are though? I think these two are probably seven years old. They're they're on the younger younger side of what we like to take. You can leave them be and come back in a couple of years and hopefully they're there. Everything here is unknown. The land is completely untouched. Your steps are heavy, as everything that you need is strapped to your back for wherever the adventure might lead you. go up around the corner. Just kind of work our way up this valley looking up the fingers of these draws as, as we move through. That's it. And then we'll keep looking back here, making sure we didn't miss anything as well. Okay. yards from us just kind of bedded down to its cud. Glenn's trying to get a good look at it. He's broomed off on his right side. His left side kind of swoops out real nice. He's, he's a pretty nice old ram. He's broomed on the one side and then he's got the retarded growth on the left. We'll, uh, we'll leave him be for now. What makes you want to leave him instead of going after him? This one, he's a nice old ram, and we could take him for sure. But uh, I'd like to leave him and uh, look after the, the other young ones in this area and see if we can find an even nicer, older one. Okay, we'll keep looking and uh, just appreciate the fact that we got to see him. Conservation exists here in this moment. The struggle for the hunter is real because although the ram is legal, we leave him behind to continue our search with nothing but the hopes that there may be an older ram that stands a lesser chance of surviving the coming winter. They're younger rams, really pretty rams, but like seven years old. So. rams all between the ages of four and seven so 
that's not what we like to take and uh, we'll just keep hunting. Looking ahead at the landscapes that you must pass, you can't help but wonder to yourself how. How am I physically going to make it up the next mountain? The sheer mass of everything is daunting. And then you look back over your shoulder and see where you have been. And you realize that out here, anything is possible. You just have to put one foot in front of the other. Yep, we found him. We got him. We got him. Yep. We, got him. we found him. We found him. There's two in there for sure that are beauties. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Holy smokes. I know. Wow. These guys look pretty content here. I think so. I think they'll end up bedding there and stay in there for the night. And they might move a little ways over the night, but not far. Well, we have had a long day, 12, 12 hours of hiking, so just set up a tent and get up early and hit the mountain. I think so. I think that's a great plan. Well, at least we got a look at those sheep as they came down the mountain before we climbed up to the top. They were kind of feeding down and maybe angling up a little bit, but that could have changed and they could come right down here or just kind of work on this ridge right above us even. Exactly. The fog is both our friend and our foe. As the sheep disappear into a thick blanket of fog, so do we. It is a risky move using it to conceal our presence in what otherwise would be plain sight. There is an unwavering determination that lives in the heart of the hunter that, despite the conditions, keeps pressing us forward. This is where they were this morning, 300 yards from where we're standing. Exactly. Uh, I think they're going to be close up in here. Hopefully they haven't went up into the back of the basin and over the saddle. We'll find out soon. But if they have, we have our camp on our back, so we'll just keep following sheep. Exactly. Be conscious of your height.
Ronaldo. Okay, so he's the last one. He's, he's the last one. The fourth one. You ready? Yeah. Got him. He's sliding. Should I shoot again? No. No, just wait. You got your beauty down. Great on. The legacy found in the stories of the mountain hunter brought me here to this moment. For me, I have always dreamed of being a sheep hunter and yeah. to be in this moment right now is like it's pretty unreal. Awesome. What a awesome. beautiful day too. Oh. Beautiful ram. Oh man, he is fantastic. How old do you think he is? I think he's 12 or 13. See how close those rings are near the base? Yeah. Look at all these splits in his horn yeah. and yeah. all these years. I don't think he'd I don't think he'd have lived another year. No, he was living on borrowed time just as it was. It's unbelievable. All these neurals in there, he's splitting in the back. Mm -hmm. Roman nose from all the fighting over the years. And what a treat to get to see him laying up in the sun, laying in the rain. I mean, we got to see him in, in the fog this morning and uh, just such, a, such an honor to be on this trip. He's perfect. He is. It's amazing he's still got his lamb tips. I just can't get over that he's still got his lamb tips at this age. Now we get to pack him off this mountain and what a more beautiful place to, to end it all right here. Absolutely. The land of the midnight sun was everything that I had dreamed of and more. It changed me forever. For now, I am a sheep hunter. The legacy of a sheep hunter is now part of me. As the wind whispers across the landscapes of the Mackenzie Mountains, it fuels the torch of desire in the heart of the hunter. For the birding is inside of us. And to the north, a sheep hunter always returns.